So when you see the students going up to the smart board during the clip, um, what they're doing is they're actually selecting a uh, workshop station to go to. So workshop is what I call the blended learning station, almost like a learning lab, where there's many different activities going on at one time, including in a group that it is with me. That group is selected based on my formative assessments, so quizzes that I give during class. If five or six students did particularly poorly on this assessment, then um, they might see their name on the workshop smart board list at tutoring, which means they'll come to me, we'll practice the skill. All the other stations are um, chosen by the students themselves. Lyric, moving with speed. I need you on the guy. Last group. Uh, you all want to grab a board and put your folders down on the ground so that we. Uh... Very nice job on that. Wipe it clean for me. So let's see where you guys are at. You two are going to be buddies real quick. And you two are going to be buddies real quick. What I want you to do okay, is you guys are going to solve both of these together. And now I want you to tell me which one is the biggest one. Because one of the questions on the quiz that we struggled with was the one where I said, here's two expressions, which one's greater? Now, can you decide that right now? No. No. Oh. Because just because something's super long, Marcus, doesn't mean that it's a big number? No, I can make a super long one that equals zero if I want to, right? So we've got to take it step by step and decide. You guys game? All right. Potential coin six. Eight. You can't? Why not? If it comes in the parentheses, what do I do? Whatever is in there. So we already know that we do the Interesting. Now here's a little challenge question. This was one on the question. At first, this was difficult for obvious reasons. The students all wanted to do the same activities. Um, many of the students. Uh, struggled with being able to determine what they actually needed and not what they wanted. In this way, I've kind of uh, tweaked and altered the way that workshop runs to allow for even more uh, choice in the students. The students now choose not just the station that they're at, but specifically what things they're doing at the station. So for example, a student might go um, to uh, Manga High, which is a program that we use on the laptops. When they go there, they have a plethora of different activities and assignments that they have. They have to make the choice to pick the correct assignment that they currently need the most. And I find that because of that culture of it's your opportunity to take charge of your education, um, I find that they make that right choice more often than not.